Hello, welcome back to the Mechanics YouTube channel. As promised, we've got the trick up my sleeve in. Finally. Finally, here it is. Um, on the Civic. Drove in actually under its own steam, surprisingly. Yeah, first time for it's been sat for a while. Yeah, it's been it's been sat for probably seven months, I think now. Yeah. And now the time's come, gotta do something with it. Time has come. We're gonna um, we're gonna do something a bit more special to it. It's ready. We do a bit of vlogging. Bit of vlogging. We're gonna vlog this project for you. Yeah. Um but the first bit of vlogging is we're going on a road trip. Yeah, going on a road trip, pick some parts up. Pick some parts up. Parts from Japan. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> overseas. Know, it's overseas. not overnight parts, but Over, overseas. Not overnight, but yeah, yeah, from Japan. So we'll head out now. Yeah, we'll head out and then uh, show you what we'll to go get. We'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Right, Rick, where are we going? Off an adventure. We're going on an adventure, where are we going? Uh, I hear we're off to go pick up a new engine. Oh, yeah. So I kind of gave it away, but what engine is yet to be seen, or are we giving that away? Oh, we'll give it away when we get there. Give it away when we get there, so let's get on the road. Let's get on the road. So Rick, first pit stop. My bladder can't go it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a camel. <laughs> we'll have a little, we'll have a rest bright and then we'll go again. Yeah, I'll get a coffee. Hey up dude. Okay Rick, we've got the goods. Yeah, I'm going to wake me up shot. Espresso shot. <laughs> <laughs> keep working, keep, keep working. 30 minutes and we'll be there. See what we've got in the back then. 
Let's have a look at the goods, Rick. Let's look at the goods. So, what we have here, K24A. K24A. Import. RBB Ed. Beautiful. Very nice, Rick. That should make a bit more power. Is that what we need? More power? Need a bit more power. What we actually need is uh, a nice yeah. coffee, Rick. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Let's get a coffee. Not sponsored by Costa, but ready to hit road again, Rick. I haven't finished my last one. I needed a piss too much. <laughs> <laughs> the camel strikes again. <laughs> Uh, let's make a move. Alright Rick, so what are we doing now? It's time Rick. 
Is this the trick up your sleeve we've been threatening for a long time finally coming to fruition? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go and get it in. Well, we're going to get it started first, but we've got a new battery. So, fingers crossed, we'll get it running. Right, let's go see if we can get it running. I'll get it found. Let's go. Oh yeah, we did this before in the snow. Yeah. There she this is. This time it's the real deal. This time it's the real deal. It's been long awaited, hasn't it? It has. Uh, I don't know, Rick. It looks pretty damn lovely to me already. Well, I thought you said it went fast enough, Rick. Is that what I said, was it? Yeah. So, if it's not fast enough, how are we making it faster? Well, you have to wait and see, won't you? The old and with the new. Yeah, so to all those who saw the preview on the RX8 video when we slammed it, the clue was the intercooler in the front. So kind of giving a bit of this away. But uh, when Rick gets his battery fitted, we'll get it in the workshop, give you a bit of a talk through how it currently sits and what the future plans are. As long as it runs. As long as it runs, yeah, that's the next thing. It's been a while. Right, and there's the key. Piss your alarm, does it? Uh, my guess is it's gonna go off. Gonna... There we go. Go. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Moment of truth. Fingers crossed.
sounds all right. Sounds like he's ready to go back out and play, but... Civic Turbo. I think we've established that, but uh, gave a little bit away earlier. But it's definitely uh, it's definitely unique already, Rick. So shall we give the people a talk down on what the plans are? And yeah, I'll just, I'll just turn it off. And then... Right. So this one was built at home in my garage before. The Iron Mortal Works unit was acquired. Um, so, obviously, Civic Type R, FN2, turboed. You don't see many of these because it's a bit more tricky than an EP3. Room for turbo manifolds. Yeah, it's definitely it, crammed it in there. It comes at a premium on these. Um, manifold, all the pipe work, everything made by myself. Obviously, fuel return system on it. It's not often you do these on these because they're just... They were just um, they just have a feed normally, but because I wanted to run fuel pressure regulator for boost, then obviously you have to put a return on it. But it makes a big difference for tuning. Um, yeah, it's got all the trick bits. Unfortunately, it's not good enough. <laughs> first of all, Rick says it's not fast. <laughs> but we had we've had a, a few tuning issues with it. Um, we had it mapped after it was. Okay, Rick, operator error there. Sorry, buddy, I cut you off. You were saying you've had some tuning issues. As I was saying, um, once it was all built and ready to go, um, got it booked in for remap, obviously, because it's turbo now, so it be <laughs> can't run a standard map. Yep. Um, after a bit of messing around with the company, got it home. And it blew up in 10 miles or something like it was ridiculous so i thought right okay i'll swap the engine swap the engine straight away again blew another one so i mean i rebuilt this engine and i was just going to run it like that but first of all rick said it was too slow yeah 400 and something horsepower i can't Four. remember well, it's 408, 408 at the wheels. At the wheels, yeah. So, however you want to calculate that, you can work it out yourself. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't... The, the map's not to be trusted. It's not... It's not reliable. We're, we're not saying any names. No, not name drop the company that tuned it, but the tuning is the issue. But so it, it's the issue. Detonation, it's just... it's Yeah. So, rather that it's uh, a case of start all over again is that the plan rick well the thing is i wanted to put a k24 in it before okay but i didn't want to have to map it again but being as we're going to have to map it again anyway what better time than to put k24 in it so what you're saying is the plan is we're gonna change this engine gonna pull this out now healthy yeah somewhat uh yeah, i mean well, the engine's definitely healthy. There's yeah, nothing wrong with yeah, the engine. Yeah, the engine's all right, but uh, because we're because we're going to get it mapped again, we're going to get it mapped up properly. Uh, pro properly, yeah. Um, I would have just liked to put K twenty four in it. So not particularly to keep it or anything. Just thought it'd be a cool thing to do. Like, yeah. So with that being said, but we've got some goods. We need to uh, acquire, have we acquired an engine, have we, Rick? We've acquired an engine. Should we take a look at it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the engine. Yeah. So there she is, there K24. She is. K24A, so imported, proper thing. So now the plan is get that stripped down. So yeah, we're gonna get it stripped down I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do yet. I'm not going to put a K20 head on it because they are pretty close to these engines anyway. 
obviously all the ancillaries will be swapped over. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do cams. I don't know. I'll wait till it's all stripped down and we'll do some measuring and then we'll uh, we'll decide what we're going to do then. But it'll be quick regardless, won't it? Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. It's quick enough with a K20, to be honest. But because I'm giving him jip about it, he's gonna. we're going to go for a bit more max potential, shall we say, Rick, eh? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to go mad. We're not forging it, obviously, so... But... Talk-wise, it'll be pretty special, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So there she is, the car that has been a looming project for a long time, being put off due to the likes of my Mazda, which is still an ongoing project, which that will be back on the channel, amongst many, many other cool builds. But in the meantime, this one's going to get some priority, I think, Rick. Does that yeah, sound like a plan? I, yeah, I'd like to get it built in the next few weeks, personally, but we'll, obviously customers are priority, so we'll have to... Work it round. Work around it. I think when we get going, it'll it'll move fairly quickly, to be honest. That's it. So, stay tuned. Watch yeah. this space. Watch this space. This is obviously part one. We'll take you all the way through the process. We're not, we'll not do DIY. No. <laughs> Just showing how it's coming along. We'll do a few episodes on this. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got to get this engine removed. A lot of work to be done. Got work to do on the new engine as well before it can even go in. Yeah. Um, a few bits to swap few bits to make up, going to make some alterations which I'd, I'd have liked to have done the first time but it'll make a good video if nothing else won't it? I think so, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah so if you like this please uh, let us know in the comments, tell us if this is something you'd be interested in looking forward to and uh, yeah, I mean, you guide us, whatever projects you want to see, yeah. then we'll... Yeah, we'll do our best to build we'll it. We'll do our best to please you. <laughs> Obviously, budget's an issue at the moment. We're I doing personally all... like turbo and everything. Oh, uh, yeah. And putting cam flag on it. Yeah, we'll not but... go there. Is there another project you like to turbo at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm trying very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying very hard to get Rick to turbo the RX-8. Yeah, leave a comment below. Should we turbo the RX-8? Should we turbo the RX-8? If we get enough comments, I might be persuaded. If uh, yeah. <laughs> at the moment, as we all know, rotary engines are renowned for not being reliable as they are. So I try. I want to keep keep it as it is and enjoy it. But Rick's trying to persuade me. So. I think it'd be fun, right? Yeah, it'd definitely be fun. One day. If it doesn't happen sooner rather than later, one day we'll get there. But in the meantime, we've got this one to contend with. Yeah. So we'll get on with that. And what do we always say then? Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. See you later.